that. But eat what you need to eat, but you gotta attack it like it's life or death, or it'll just become some kind of mental exercise. Brother Howard, I just want to present this to you. I'm Brother Ron, and we all be Group Incorporated, also known as R2C2H to the Artivist. I want to give you this, the 2023, we all be Burt Williams, a nobody who was a real somebody, Artivist Lifetime Achievement Award, presented to Brother Terrence Deshaun Howard for using his creative genius and exceptional dedicated service towards the upliftment and the empowerment of humanity. And I, I, I believe, Brother, the ancestors are speaking to me. I believe that you should play Burt Williams in a biopic. I know you, are you familiar with Burt Williams? I know. He's a comedian superstar. He's the reason why we got the Richard Pryors and the Eddie Murphys and Kevin Hart. He was the first. He was the biggest recording black music star of the early 20th century before 1920. But he led the way for so many people. Like W.C. Fields said, he was the funniest man he ever saw, but the saddest man he ever knew. He was from the Bahamas, but he wanted to be an engineer in Stanford University but became a Shakespearean actor, but ended up coming to comedy and led the way for so many people. And uh, his, his favorite song or his famous theme song was Nobody and became one of the top sellers of the early 20th century. But he was a guy that believed in his people, that loved black people, that gave back and invested in community. So I believe you stand on the shoulders of giants like him, Burt Williams, I believe you should do his biopic. Was yeah, he Redbone? He was Redbone, redhead, <laughs> Redbone, pretty eyes, just like you. <laughs> But also he did the blackface thing. But the thing about it, a lot of them brothers were well-educated. It was about community building. You know, his, his contemporary was James Weldon Johnson. And you did a movie in Memphis, Hustle and Flow. The first black talkie in Hollywood history was done in Memphis, hallelujah. It was produced here in Soulsville back in the 20s. King Vidor, Thank from the, a director, he got nominated for an Oscar for that movie. But the first black talkie in Hollywood produced was done here in Memphis. So you stand on... Can Solid I, ground. Can I do my acceptance speech? Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> well, on behalf of the... Um, <laughs> That's right. The other narcissist or recovering narcissist that... <laughs> I don't deserve any of this shit because I tell you, I, all the work I've done, any anything I've done has been for a selfish reason. The selfish reason was trying to take care of me, trying to take care of my family, trying to learn. So it's interesting, the selfish gene seems to be the motivating factor. If you take care of self and your balance, then everybody else is balanced. So it's okay, take care of what you need to be all about self, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But take self-preservation is the first rule of nature. So I got this because I tried to get to the egg. I got there. Get to your egg. Thank you so much. <laughs>
And please also remember, family, if you want to keep up with all things we all be, please join our mail list. You can email yours truly, Brother Ron, at weallbe at gmail.com. Once again, that's weallbe at gmail.com to keep up with what's going on with we all be. Remember, information is power and knowledge is the currency of the universe. But please, feed we all be so that the feeder can keep on feeding the people. One love. Can you dig it? I sure can. Amplify blessings. Amplify blessings. Amplify blessings. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See how it works? Somewhere. And please remember and never forget that we love you.